Eastside Design America studio down in San Diego. And today I'd like to give you an overview of the new Murano's design story. So when we first started the project, we looked back at the original Murano from 2003. When the original came out, it was a breakthrough design. And to me, it looked like a spaceship. It was like nothing else on the road. And uh, at the time, I was a designer at another company. But when I saw the Murano, I was so inspired that I decided to join Nissan. Then we moved on to the second generation, where we focused on enhancing and refining the original. So when it came time to do the third generation, I was super excited to be part of the team. We felt that it was time to impact again and to create the same concept car statement of the original. We needed to push the reset button. So then our research team, they put together a group of loyal Murano customers. And we talked to them and we found out that they, they love the uh, expressive and uh, futuristic design. And one of them even referred to it as a museum piece. And we talked to them about their, some of their hobbies, which included going on road trips with their friends and going wine tasting. And with a stylish design and the comfortable cabin for all passengers, the Murano made traveling an enjoyable and special experience for them. And then we asked them about um, their future Murano, and they told us they envisioned it as being provocative, premium, and optimistic. So the customers, they spoke so passionately about their Muranos that it inspired us to take our own road trip to wine country to immerse ourselves in their lifestyle. So we got the design team together, we got into a Murano and a competitor vehicle, and we went on our own mini wine tasting trip um, just nearby in uh, Temecula. And uh, on the road, we were able to enjoy the Murano's excellent panoramic view, and also the luxury, the luxurious cabin for the front and rear passengers. So now we understood why the customers described the Murano's as a shared experience. And uh, also, the Murano has this dress-up, dress-down quality where when we were taking pictures, we found that the Murano was photogenic in almost any environment, whether it's an upscale restaurant or dirt trail. So unlike the more traditional competitors, the Murano is both <coughs> elegant and casual at the same time. And then for the design keywords and early sketches, we focused on enhancing the Murano's strengths but at the same time to create the same bold impact of the original. So we drew inspiration from the early jet age of the 1960s, when flying was a new and special experience. The travelers, they were pampered with luxury and they flew in style. So our exterior design is very much inspired by aviation. To, um, this is to highlight the style, the optimism, and also the aerodynamic efficiency. The interior design will be just as bold. It will be a panoramic space, and it will be a first-class cabin for everyone on board. And some of our keywords include elevate your experience, museum piece, and concept car for the road. So we wanted to discover new shapes and forms, and we went beyond our usual process of sketching first and then moving on to the quarter-scale clay model. But instead, we created these miniature tent scale clay models for each designer to sculpt and explore on their own. And these little models are very rough, but they, uh, they were inspirational to us when we went back into sketching. And the sketches here, they were selected in the global design competition, and they would evolve into the new Murano. So next, we moved on to the quarter scale clay and then eventually full size models to refine the design. So some of the unique uh, design elements, like the lamp graphics and the floating roof concept and the sculpted body sides, they were innovative, but they were quite a challenge to execute into production. So the engineering team worked extra closely with us to not only realize the unique design, but to achieve the amazing aerodynamics with a CD of just 0.31. So in this phase, all the design details are ironed out and this is also when the new V-Motion front end took shape. 
So we feel the final product once again captures the bold impact of the original Murano. With the distinctive boomerang headlamps and the new V-motion uh, front grille, the front end has a very strong and distinctive signature. The side view is energetic and emotional, with a sharp and crisp shoulder character line contrasting with the sculptural and fluid body side. The overall feeling is lightweight and aerodynamic. And the rear design is just as uh, unique, with the boomerang lamps flowing into the jet tail inspired pillars and floating roof. So overall, we feel we've accomplished our goal to impact again with a bold and expressive statement in the new Murano. Thank <laughs> you.